Hey, what's up, everybody? We're doing another TechBiz tutorial here with some Python practice, and this time we're going to uh, use uh, import time with our uh, program so we can kind of play around uh, with time. And we're going to make a clock that keeps real time time. You could use it for a stopwatch or just playing around with or whatever. So we'll kind of get started. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to import OS because we're going to use that for a clear screen function later. And I'm also going to import time. And then I'm going to make my variables. My variables are going to be actually what is displaying the time. So I'm going to say seconds is equal to float of zero because I want it to uh, display decimals of the of the seconds. Uh, I'm also going to say minutes is equal to integer of zero and I'm using an integer because I want my minutes displayed as whole numbers. And then I'm going to use hours and this also is going to be an integer for zero. All right, there's our variables. Uh, just to get us started into the time, I'm going to use start is equal to input, and then I'm just going to say do. You, actually, we'll just say uh, um, enter R to run the program. And actually, I'll just make this equal to run. We'll go with that route. Okay, so that's going to take us into our loop. And we're going to use a while loop for this. So I'm going to say while run dot lower is equal to equal to r. So that way, if they type upper or lowercase r, we're, we're safe either way. And I'm going to use my colon there. And now we'll kind of start entering in what's going to be happening. So I'm, I'm going to say if seconds is greater than 59, seconds is equal to 0. And then we will say minutes is equal to minutes plus 1. So that means every time we get to 60 seconds, it'll reset the seconds to zero, and we'll add one to the minutes. Then we'll do the same thing for minutes to hours. So if minutes is greater than 59 hours, oops, sorry, minutes is equal to zero, and hours is equal to hours plus one. All right, so that looks good with that. Then after that, I'm going to backspace one, and I'm going to say os.system CLS, that's going to clear the command prompt. So that way I don't have a continuous line of time uh, going down my command prompt. And every time that it ticks through this, it's going to clear the screen. So it'll just show the current time. So we got that. Then I'm going to say uh, seconds is equal to seconds plus Point 0.1. I'm going to say point 0.1 so I get fractions of seconds displayed on there. Alright, then after that I'm going to put on there print and this is how we're going to actually display uh, our time. So I'm going to say hours and then I'm going to use quotation marks with the colon in there then we're going to use minutes 
with the comma and then uh, quotation marks with the colon. Then I'm going to finally put in seconds. All right, so then we have hours that'll be displaying hours, minutes, seconds. All right, then what we'll do is we'll put in time dot sleep. We can do that because we imported time up top and we will say point 0.1. All right, so here this will be running forever and every 0.1 seconds then it'll go back up it'll check through this it'll clear the screen it'll reset uh, the seconds and then it'll print this and then it'll wait another second and so forth so if the thing is if you try to run this using PyCharm inside the Python interpreter you know it starts the program here and I hit R and it doesn't really run in real time very well and you, it doesn't clear the screen it shows all these kind of things down there so the best way to test this is using the command prompt so I'm going to open up my command prompt and I'm going to type in pi test pi run the program hit R and it starts timing so we have you know our seconds here our fractions of seconds right here uh, once that gets to 60 then it adds one for the minute and then those keep keep on counting then once this gets to 60 then hours so that's our program right there so you can kinda see how that works give it a try this is a real short program real simple um, I encourage you to try making this program and and uh, programming a way to get out of the loop. So, uh, using you know uh, a key a keystroke to exit out of it, or some kind of way where you can close out of it. Um, you know, and kind of challenge yourself to improve on this. You could also have a display above this where it above the numbers it would say the actual words hours with the colon minutes with the colon seconds with the colon and then it would kind of display what's going on underneath it so there's a lot of different things you could do to change this and to make it your own but kind of fun to play around with uh, using the import time and the sleep and uh, you know this is a useful thing to make your program pause or if you don't want a uh, result to display right away and you want it to delay you can use time.sleep for that you can see up here where we got up to a minute so hopefully you enjoyed that and uh, like I said try to make this program and make some changes to make it your own and and send those to me and show me what you come up with uh, we'll talk to you later